Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Come down to uh, Paysant Creek. Now, some of you may recall I did a video, uh, well, it's about a year ago now, of Paysant Creek. And uh, Gavin and I have come down here and it's absolutely fantastic. Now, today, it's, there isn't a cloud in sight, but what's happening is we're getting light on the trees back here up high and it's reflecting this golden light on the foreground and the waterfall. Now it keeps changing. It's, uh, well, it's two o'clock now, so it's getting pretty late. Uh, but it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really glad that we came. I was a bit kind of iffy about the light, but for this area, it's worked out really well. So we're kind of taking it in turns a little bit because this area isn't that large. The waterfall or the, the, the water flow right now is, is just right. Not too much, not too little. So I'm hoping I'll get some uh, slightly better shots than last time I was here. I mean, it, they turned out pretty good as well, but this is the conditions are just beautiful. Other problem is we've only got an hour or two and then we've got to hike back because it's a good, good hour's hike to this location. So uh, we might have to, I might have to come back actually. That's okay, it's beautiful here. I was really quite happy how this photograph turned out. The golden light really does set it apart from other images that I've taken from this location. Now, even though the light worked for uh, this uh, composition, it was a little tricky to deal with. Uh, in most cases, when I have such a, an extreme uh, difference between highlights and shadows, I'll take multiple images. So in this case, I took a number of Im images uh, exposing for the highlights and then I also took a number of images exposing for the shadows and then what I'll do is I'll take those images and combine them in Photoshop. Okay now even though in many cases I'll take multiple exposures to make sure that I'm covered with the highlights and the shadows uh, this image actually I ended up just using one exposure and that was the exposure that I took for the highlights. Now the highlights being the top center of the frame there it was very bright uh, compared to the rest of the scene which was very dark now when I brought it into Photoshop uh, I, uh, I brought up the shadows and I was really surprised how little noise there was in there so rather than fiddle around trying to combine different exposures I just uh, processed the one image and it turned out really really great I mean that's the great thing about using full frame uh, high megapixel cameras like the Nikon D850 that I have uh, is that you're able to really get away with uh, just taking one shot. Even though I got this shot, uh, Gavin and I really didn't have enough time in this location. So a couple of days later, we ended up going back. But before we went to Paysant Creek, we stopped off at another area called uh, Gordon Bay. And that's what uh, this next part of the video is all about. Now this is really beautiful. Sorry about the exposure here because it's so bright back here and I'm in the shade. So uh, getting the, the right exposure for the video camera is a little bit tricky. Uh, but it's also tricky for stills as well because as the sun comes up behind these trees on this island here, uh, it's so bright. And of course in the foreground here, everything is in deep shadow. So the difference in, in uh, exposure is extreme. So what I'll probably end up doing is taking several uh, different exposures, uh, some for the brightest uh, areas in the frame, and then some for the darker areas. 
Uh, you probably can't see this, but the in the foreground here, these these shrubs have, are all rimmed with frost. It's just wonderful. And then, of course, we've got the sun rising up with the fog behind this island of trees. It's a little tricky getting a, a composition. It's quite windy here this morning as well. So uh, I don't know if you can see in the background there, the fog kind of moving across the uh, the uh, the frame here. Now, Gavin and I are heading to the coast today, but I think tonight I'm going to spend another night here. I mean, might as well, because it's a long drive back. And uh, hopefully, if it's clear, I'll probably get this fog again, so then I can concentrate a little bit more uh, I, like I said in my, I was kind of joking in my last video about, uh, you know, photographing with other people can be a little tricky. And uh, I, I kind of, I was half serious. Uh, when you have other people with you, um, it can be a little bit of a distraction. It's not so bad if you have a, a large area where everybody can just kind of wander around and do their own thing. But when you have an area like this where you're somewhat limited in your options, then I find it a little, a little hard to concentrate. Uh, but Gavin's way down there, so and I'm, I've tried to find something a little bit different, so I think it's working out okay. <laughs> okay, so right now I have the shrubs in the foreground here and, uh, and the island in the background with the sun rising. So I'll take some shots and hopefully they'll work out, and if they do, then I'll go over uh, the image with you uh, once I've kind of processed it and, and, and uh, fiddled with it. All right. Okay, now this was a really beautiful morning and I did take uh, two or three uh, photographs, but I think out of the the three that I took, this is definitely the, the best of the bunch. Uh, again, like my last photograph from uh, Paysant, I, I took a number of different exposures for highlights and shadows, but again, I only needed the one uh, exposure. Uh, the, the lighting was definitely challenging, especially with the sun coming directly into the lens. So what I try to do in a situation like, like that is uh, hide the sun behind something. And in this case, uh, the trees were uh, a blessing because I was able to hide the uh, the direct sunlight uh, right behind one of the pine trees on the island there the uh, the outer edge of the f of the fog was definitely slightly overexposed but I don't think it matters too much in this image as it it's overexposed in the in the right areas right in the middle of the uh, the island there and that's pretty much where I want to direct the uh, the viewer's eye the uh, foreground trying to balance the the lighting on the foreground with the background was also a little bit of a challenge because sometimes if you over brighten the foreground it doesn't look natural uh, with the background you'll notice that even though you can see details in the foreground like some of the frost on the on the little twigs the uh, the trees on the island are actually very very dark uh, I think it works okay in this instance. Uh, perhaps I could darken the foreground just a little bit more, uh, but uh, to my eye, it seems to work okay. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with the photograph. I would have liked to have taken a couple of shots, perhaps with uh, a 10-stop ND filter just to, to smooth out that water, but it was very windy, so... Maybe I should have given it a go anyway and just let the, the twigs and everything move around. Sometimes that adds a, a neat effect. Now I did return to Gordon Bay the next morning and I was going to show those images in this video but uh, the video is starting to get a little bit long so I'll add them in next week's video so stay tuned for that. <laughs> We've been here for how long? We've we been here for. That's it. 
well over an hour. Yeah, probably an hour or more, and it's getting really, <laughs> really cold. But the light is just starting to, you just see it at the back there, starting to move its way around. And that's where, when we're getting these uh, nice reflections in the pool in the foreground. So uh, it's, it's pretty close to where it was uh, the other day. And we're all set up. I'm taking a bit of a, a time lapse. And then I'm going to take a pano of uh, this log here going right across and all the way to the other side here. And using a long exposure, what I really like is these bubbles in the foreground here. They create these really nice swirls. Um, there's a, a quite a big one on, on the uh, left side. And there is also one on the right side, but it's not quite as prominent. But I just love the, re the reflections on the, on the rock where the water goes over the rock and then in the pool here, that's just beautiful. <laughs> I'm really pleased how this uh, photograph turned out. Uh, it was a little bit tricky for exposure. The trees uh, in the background at the top especially were starting to get a little bit hot or a little bit blown out. But I, I did manage to tone them down a little bit with uh, some burning and, and dodging and such. Now for this image I ended up taking two five vertical image panos. One for uh, the water and all the and all the fine details at a low ISO and long shutter speed and then I had to take another one for the uh, foliage so I used a uh, ISO 3200 and I managed to get the the shutter speed fast enough that I could stop the action in the leaves on the ferns and such so I just painted those in afterwards and it turned out quite good uh, it's kind of neat to compare this photograph to the pano that I took uh, almost two years ago now and it's quite different. Both images I, I like very much but they look very different. One is more of a, uh, a dreamy uh, rendition and the latest version is more of a literal rendition where I'm concentrating more on the color and the light. Uh, both images I like very much but I'd be interested to uh, hear your thoughts. Uh, do you have a preference? Uh, do you like the old version better or do you like the new one or perhaps you have some other thoughts on either one of the images if you do be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below it'd be uh, much appreciated ah made it back to the parking lot you know paysant creek is a really great place to photograph because not only do you get to go to a, a great location but you also get a bit of exercise at the same time I mean, it's not far it's six kilometers a return but uh you know it's a it's a nice little jaunt to get the blood flowing and get those creative juices flowing as well all right everybody i hope you enjoyed this video as always uh, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my channel and as always don't forget to give me a thumbs up that'd be great all right until next time hopefully next week i'll see you later Right, bye.